rest assured that upon taking videos of some part of the ceremony, the prescribed guidelines and health protocols by the IATF have been strictly observed and implemented. All of our achievements today are a classic mirror of dedication and hard work from both teachers and students. We maintained our strong relationship that it was possible to battle stress. Our department preserved to continue providing support and quality learning. Parents have contributed that their children adopt the new method. Amidst pandemic, everything has changed and suddenly shift to new normal. Today are their parents and the graduating class who patiently waited. Finally, it's over. Baligyan National High School proudly presents before Senior High School Commencement Exercises Virtual Ceremony for this school year 2020 2021 with a theme strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, the Department of Education officials, the Department of Education Secretary, Yunor Magdolis Briones, the Regional Director, Dr. Isabelita M. Bores, the Curriculum and Learning Management Division Chief, Dr. Eugenio B. Penales, the Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Maria Lisa R. Tabilon, the Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Arnold Z. Dinglasa, the Administration, Faculty and Staff of Baligyan National High School,
the candidates for graduation BATS 2020-2021 Academic Track Humanities and Social Sciences Academic Track, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. TVL, Technical, Vocational, and Livelihood Track, agri -crop Production. Industrial Arts Small Engine Servicing Sang awit ng Pilipinas. Ay hinatang tulad ako 
let's bow our heads and place ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering all of us today in this important event. Bless everyone present here today that each one of us may be able to share what he or she have for your glory and honor. We pray for our graduates today and lift them before you. We ask for your peace to cover them. We ask for laughter and joy to fill their days. We pray that you would give them boldness and courage to face challenges set before them with the confidence of peace that can only come from your spirit. Be a lamp for their feet and a light to their path. Shine over them. Fill them with your spirit. May today be a memory that burns bright within them as they embark on life's great adventure. May the various activities related to this event be a success through your intervention. We ask all of this in your name. Amen. It is overwhelming to hear words of welcome from our very own Religion National High School Principal 2, Sir Mario T. Untanan. There might be setbacks and delays, but this is the way. We are all at our best to be in unison and reaching out to one another as we close this school year to celebrate and validate the four commencement exercises, BATS 2020-2021 of the Senior High Department of Baligia National High School, Zamboanga del Norte Division. On behalf of the faculty and staff and the members of the graduating class, I'd like to welcome you to witness the equipped knowledge and skills to be proud of amidst the pandemic from our graduating class. Have a better health and save everyone. Thank you, sir, for that warm opening remarks to our viewers today. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness virtually the main highlight of today's event. To do the honors of presenting the school year's candidates for graduation, may we have on our screen our dedicated school principal, Sir Mario T. Untanen, and this is to be accepted and confirmed by our school's division superintendent of Zamboanga del Norte, Dr. Maria Lisa R. Tabilon. To our school's division superintendent, Dr. Maria Lisa R. Tabilon, as a school head of Baligia National High School, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation for this school year 2020-2021, composed of academic track, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, 25 candidates, humanities and social sciences, 23 candidates, technical vocational livelihood, agri-crop production, 13 candidates, home economics, 14 candidates, small engine servicing, 12 candidates, who satisfactorily completed the requirements of the senior high school under the K-12 basic education curriculum of the Department of Education. They are now ready for your acceptance and confirmation. Candidates, you have been proudly presented and recommended by your school head for graduation after you have successfully completed all the requirements of the curriculum as prescribed under the K-12 Basic Education Program of the Department of Education. And so by virtue of power vested upon me as the school's division superintendent of the school's division of Zamboanga del Norte, I hereby confirm you graduates in senior high school for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations!
the Department of Education officials messages. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take, would not be taking place uh, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our 
officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and 
the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survive and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select 
which door to open and so we tell you go out to the world do whatever you want to do God be with you and be sure be assured that all of us love each and every one of you congratulations Buenos dias a todos. Good morning, everyone. From the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the regional office, let me greet each and every one of you with this felicitation. Happy, happy graduation. There are three persons whom we dedicate this event. First and foremost, your parents. They have given you so much love and understanding even at this pandemic time. If there is that group of persons who are very happy for this accomplishment that you have in this COVID pandemic time, it's your parents. Despite the problems of limited access to an online modality of learning, they have given the necessary support, especially financial support. Even for those who cannot afford, parents have gone out of their way just to help you out. And through the years, from the beginning of your schooling, our parents, your parents, have always been there. In fact, in a classical way of saying, you have never become one without your parents. What you are today, it's all because of your parents. And so to the parents who are attending also the virtual graduation exercises, let me thank you and let me congratulate all of you for having done your best as parents. After all, the real jewels in our family are our children. What they have achieved today is actually a big one to reckon with. And that would be an accomplishment also for us as parents. The second group that we should acknowledge and give accolade is the group of our teachers. And so to our teachers, to your teachers, let me also congratulate and be grateful for that untiring support that you have given in this very challenging COVID pandemic time. We have limited resources, we have limited time and space, but you are true to the work of a teacher. Actually, the theme of strengthening quality education despite this COVID pandemic time rests on the shoulders of our teachers. And so we have tested you for your resilience, for your perseverance, and for your remarkable competency, especially in matters of adjusting the learning resources. And so to our teachers, again, DepEd Region 9 is very grateful for all the sacrifices that you have extended in the parlance of the theme of our 123rd Philippine Independence Day. You have, you have become our heroes because despite the time and the space, you continuously pursue the delivery of the self-learning modules or the so-called blended learning modality. And the last group, of course, is your very own selves, coupled with the support of our local government units, 
especially also the school administrators. Let me congratulate and thank all of you, especially the principals, who have done all a lot of things just to install and implement the basic learning continuity plan that we have installed for all our schools, even the private schools. And so today is a day of what we call day of happiness, whether we like it or not. Let's all be cheerful that finally we have reached the end part, the finale of your learning for this school year, 2020-2021. Of course, we all know that this has been a very unique experience having adapted the so-called SLM, the self-learning modules, as a way of getting insights, knowledge, and developing our skills. There are a lot of problems that come our way, especially as we comply with the IATF health protocols, especially that there are a lot of restrictions in the part of our learners. But in totality, we've been true to our mantra that learning must continue. This has been the claimer of our secretary that learning must continue. And so we did prove to ourselves and to the community that learning has continuously been pursued by all of us. And so for Gen X, Gen Y, the millennials and your group Gen Z, we really are very appreciative of that kind of effort that you have extended. There were cases that you have started to stop and be tempted to drop out. But because of the persistence of your parents, the dedication and the commitment of our school administrators and teachers, finally you decided that you should also continue. Indeed, you have continued. Thus, your graduation exercises today. And so to all of you, our warm congratulations and felicitations for having done a good job. And so to class 2021, a unique class of COVID era, may you have a positive outlook after this graduation exercises as we welcome the next school year and as you welcome also the next set of challenges for your next ladder next journey as you want to put yourselves in that challenging part of educating yourselves and feeling accomplished eventually being part of nation building. So to all of you, congratulations. To all of you who have proven that you are still very strong in mind and spirit with a strong commitment to pursue quality education. Again, congratulations. Muchisimas gracias. Hasta la vista. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Most traditional moving up, completion, and graduation ceremonies just are not happening again this year. But this do not mean that completers and graduates' hard work would not be given virtual round of applause and a long distance high five. You, our dearest completers and graduates, are the reasons why we at the Department of Education push through with alternative learning delivery modalities so that your future will be ascertained and your dreams and aspirations are fulfilled. Admittedly, the education you have this school year is entirely different from what you used to have. We know your adjustments, struggles, and setbacks we recognize your small successes in accomplishing your task. Your determination is 
what this nation needs. We envision learners who can apply lifelong learning to face the adversities brought about by this COVID-19 pandemic. We know you are toughened by these circumstances. Hence, we are confident that we have developed among you the tenets of independence and reliance. You have reached another milestone because of your joint efforts and significant people in your life. To your parents and guardians who serve as guides on the side and supported you by investing time and effort, you too deserve a pat on your back. Good job! To your teachers, our great and sung heroes for enduring the challenges to provide you the needed learning resources and for influencing you to seek overall development. For the past few months of this school year, we were like venturing into an unknown jungle but you, our dear graduates and completers, have followed the path rightfully and discovered things for yourselves. You have embraced change amid the health pandemic and have continued to impress us with your tolerance to seek learning at the time when traditional class instruction is not yet within reach. Time and, ag time and again, we have proven that regardless of crisis in health and economy, we can unite towards the realization of a common goal, the delivery of quality, accessible, relevant and liberating basic education for Filipino learners. To the Generation Z learners, congratulations, so high! Congratulations and well wishes to all our 2021 completers and graduates in all the public and private learning institutions of the province of Zamboanga del Norte. Completing your academic milieu is a great accomplishment and should be celebrated. This year has been like no other and your dedication and fortitude during this pandemic is much to be admired because the class of 2021 is the class that endured the most challenging of years which you courageously persevered. You have accomplished so much while navigating the challenges of the new normal. Your hard work and resilience have been impressive which concretized this year's graduation theme, strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic. In those days that you have been placed under the shelter of your homes and care and facilitation of your parents while learning independently through modules or through other modalities, many have become your champions and worked incessantly to ensure that education will continue for you. Seeing you graduate today is so assuring and fulfilling for your teachers, families, friends, local and national leaders, and other stakeholders. Your support groups have exemplified a nurturing leadership and have collaborated to surmount over all challenges during the chaotic time to provide for you the much needed resources that will enable you to realize your dreams, knowing that your dreams serve as your driving force to succeed in life. Yet dreams can only be meaningful when in it are embedded the dedication and commitment, a power that lead and power you to translate dreams into realities, the reconciling of intentions with actions to translate dreams into positive outcomes, the energizing of self with good vibes through prayer, empowering, encouraging and inspiring surrounding, the anchoring of pride and confidence and ensuring to be clothed with a grace born out of modesty and humbleness amidst successes and triumphs. The motivating and influencing others which elucidates leading and empowering people and serving God through His people 
that multiplies and spreads widely the gifts and talents as your important treasures and blessings. Graduates, we adults who have come ahead in life have already committed and dedicated our plans, actions, and resources, hopefully, to make abound the opportunities for you. On this special day commences your journey to another phase of your endeavor in life. You take on a more challenging role to play, and as you traverse the path, it is our prayer that your perseverance and strength carry you through all difficulties and adversities. We will be with you along the way and are already excited to see the positive changes that you will be making in the world we live in. Mabuhay and God bless, Class of 2021. To watch the valedictory address from this batch, may we hear it from Genevieve S. Carion, graduate with honors. To our school's Division Superintendent of Zamboanga del Norte, Dr. Maria Lisa Artabilan, Peligian District Supervisor, Dr. Arnold Zeding Lassa, our dearest school head of Peligian National High School, Principal Mario T. Untanan, faculty and staff, motivating parents, school graduates, ladies and gentlemen, as challenging as it might have been, the past few months, it is with great pleasure and honest gratitude to you all for beautifully reflecting the excitement of graduation. On behalf of 2020-2021 senior high graduates, I am beyond honored by the unexpected privilege to deliver this valedictory address to everyone who is one way and another. Parts of our journey in our six-year learning quest in our alma mater, the Baligian National High School. But, given this opportune time, my appreciation and gratitude to everyone are engaging and personal. To the Almighty One for giving this special occasion that despite the situation we are facing now, we still have a new normal celebration for this commencement. Thank you for the guidance and strength showered upon us Amidst the pandemic, I am sure all of us graduates experience despair. Despair in the sense that, can we cope and finish our schooling without the teacher deliberating the lesson in face-to-face -face manner? As we all know, this pandemic almost hindered us to learn the lessons. But, despite the fact, we are still thankful to the government particularly the Department of Education's officials, the LGO Baligian as our stakeholders, and the mobility of our Arma Mater administration, who find ways and means to have a suitable continuous education delivered in our home using the self-learning printed modules. To our Arma Mater, the administration, mentors in the different subject areas, a big thank you for still being with us on the group chat tutorial to the tough tasks or activities in the modules that cannot be answered alone. Even the door-to-door -door delivery of our printed self-learning module, crossing the flooded rivers, fill in the blanks and eroded roads, showed your service with a heart to us learner. Your contribution on molding us of what we are today, beside the challenges that the world is facing, is much appreciated. The learning that have grown with especially the camaraderie we shared and develop as your learner will always and forever scored in our heart to our parents and guardians, siblings, relatives who are there, motivating and guarding us on a day-to-day -day basis, and even our neighbor who are abruptly become our learning partners, even though they are not registered teachers, but still able to share their knowledge in their way. It makes sense anyway. Thank you. All of you are great contributor of wisdom for us to bring wherever we are. So all of you, God bless and more power. Thank you, Genevieve, for giving us the valedictory address. You are all indeed 
be remembered. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come. Let us witness and congratulate the graduates of this school year 2020-2021. Academic Track, Humanities and Social Sciences Rosalie M. Kababat, the Class Advisor R.J. P. Morados Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Arnie T. Morados Zachary Miguel B. Paculanang Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Cecil D. Paculanang Edrimar Neil R. Bertudazo Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Edgardo Bertudazo Kit John C. Vinyas Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Richard S. Vinyas Jonna May S. Ahan Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jose Gary Z. Ahan Grace V. Antiquina Parents Mrs. Mildred Antikina Regine B. Bangui Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Dodong P. Bangui Angelic Grace P. Biahe Parent, Mrs. Lorena Papu Maloni M. Boyong Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Marlon P. Boyong Rosdel Gay E. Caja Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jenray S. Caja Ira H. Gabutan Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Elizalde E. Gabutan Via Rustel B. Misa Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ruel Misa R.J. Leyan U. Papud Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rogelio S. Papud Odeza S. Papud Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ruben S. Papud Rian Lores N. Papud Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rodante Z. Papud Melanie V. Rimandiman Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Roberto Rimandiman Reca C. Riconalia Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Renejillo C. Riconalia Veronica S. Rome Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ernesto F. Rome Cherry Rose B. Surem Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Charlito S. Surem Mariel Tamara D. Chalan Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Marino T. Chalan Juliet A. Titao Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Robert J. Titao Marianita U. Ocab Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jaime M. Ocab Vanessa G. Vega Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Laureto D. B. Vega Academic Track Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Clementia P. Ginoo Class Advisor Muriel T. Castile Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Danilo Castile Rosalito M. Dacup Parents, Engineer and Mrs. Rodelito L. Dacup Runel Lacaba Jr. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Runel C. Lacaba Sr. Ray A. Lanzaderas Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Roland C. Lanzaderas Christian Lloyd M. Mendoza Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Joffy A. Mendoza Noel P. Patok Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Narciso S. Patok Kent Rowey Jevi B. Rodolfa Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ruel A. Rodolfa Win Cloud A. Bertudazo Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Roberto O. Bertudazo 
Rizel Joy D. Adorza Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Dante A. Adorza Emma Ray C. Albizo Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Raimondo F. Albizo Daisy C. Ando Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Desiderio T. Ando Jisa C. Bailo Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Armando H. Bailo Jolly Pearl S. Berdigel Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jobert B. Berdigel Vanessa Jane S. Cadavedo Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Romel Cadavedo Genevieve S. Carion Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jovenier C. Carion Jessa Jane L. Dagpin Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Sunny Boy W. Dagpin Jim Bea Nobsley P. Ginoo Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Wilfredo A. Ginoo Jasmine Rose N. Handag Parents, Mrs. Elisa Nakaituna Josephine A. Lumapay Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Narciso S. Lumapay Kearly C. Magallanes Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Edison N. Magallanes Grishel Kate C. Marabas Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Marvin Marabas Raisa Joy V. Mudja Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rodi S. Mudja Irish D. Surem Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alan S. Surem Lekeisha Ann E. Tomo Parent, Mrs. Delia E. Tomo Rosel E. Tomodio Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Cornelio G. Tomodio TVL Technical Vocational and Livelihood Track Mary Fe V. Suales Class Advisor Agri-Crop Production Benedict P. Abuabo Parent, Miss Marilu P. Abuabo Jesser C. Daksaan Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jimmy L. Daksaan Franz Lay S. Lingala Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Francisco A. Lingala Ariel L. Maing Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rudel A. Maing Gerald P. Navarro Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Francisco L. Navarro Justine A. Rodrigo Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Noel Rodrigo Anthony Q. Sumagaw Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alan O. Sumagaw Cecilia C. Banales Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Sergio Banales Marilyn Y. Del Pilar Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Raul B. Del Pilar Vanessa B. Edpalina Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jobert Edpalina Sweet Hannah Joyce E. Handag Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Joshua N. Handag Jennifer F. Jalabi Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jobert M. Jalabi Loitesa A. Mislani Parents Loitesa A. Mislani Home Economics Jerry Boy L. Ando Parents Mr. and Mrs. Basilio D. Ando Jern Mark E. Tomo Parent Mrs. Delia E. Tomo Crystal Jane C. Ando Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Quirino M. Ando Chirel A. Bardago Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Robert M. Bardago Princess Nikel A. Chong Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Michael S. Chong Giselle L. Compis Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Victor Q. Compis Abigail O. Dahl 
Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Abraham J. Dahl Diane Bades O. Dahl Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Abraham J. Dahl Sep Jane S. Lantaka Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Joaquin P. Lantaka Sunya B. Lumimba Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ronnie B. Lumimba Angeline A. Macaso Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Antonio D. Macaso Rowena C. Pondusan Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ruben Pondusan Chrissy Jane D. Sumagaw Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Nelson S. Sumagaw Electa Me C. Sumagaw Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Dante Sumagaw Industrial Arts Small Engine Servicing Julio B. Amistoso Parent, Mrs. Lydia Banaag Jack V. Castile Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ray Castile Christian Anthony P. Compis Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Crisanto O. Compis Jesse Jr. and Dacomos Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jesse E. Dacomos Joshua Dave M. Kaswagi Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Romy I. Kaswagi Christopher A. Miot Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Mauricio L. Miot Angelo C. Montina Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Manuel Montina Rohan James D. Montina Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson B. Montina Cyber S. Nunez Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Danilo G. Nunez Alan Jr. T. Ranas Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alan B. Ranas Manny Jr. L. Salacao Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Manny A. Salacao Carlito Jr. P. Tungal Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Carlito B. Tungal Jr. Finally, it is time for the harvest. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give virtual applause to this fourth commencement exercise Academic Excellence Awardees. Grisel Joy D. Adorza, Grade 12 STEM, with honors. Parents Honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Dante A. Adorza. Daisy C. Ando, Grade 12 STEM, with honors. Parents Honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Desiderio T. Ando. Jisa C. Bailo, Grade 12 STEM, with honors. Parents Honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Armando H. Bailo. Julie Pearl S. Berdigel, Grade 12 STEM, with honors. Parents Honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Jobert R. Berdigel Genevieve S. Carion, Grade 12 STEM With Honors Parents Honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Jovenier C. Carion Muriel T. Castile, Grade 12 STEM With Honors Parents Honorary. Mr. and Mrs. Danilo Castile Rosalito M. Daco, Grade 12 STEM With Honors Parents Honorary Engineer and Mrs. Rodelito L. Daco, Jessa Jane L. Dagpin Grade 12 STEM With Honors Parents Honorary Mr. and Mrs. Sunny Boy W. Dagpin Marilyn Y. Del Pilar, Grade 12 Agri-Crops Production With Honors Parents Honorary 
Mr. and Mrs. Raul P. Del Pilar, Ira H. Gabutan, Grade 12 Humes, with honors, parents honorary, Mr. and Mrs. El Salde E. Gabutan, Jim Bea Nobsley P. Gino, Grade 12 STEM, with honors, parents honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Wilfredo A. Gino, Jasmine Rose and Handag, Grade 12 STEM, with honors, parent honorary, Mrs. Elisa Nakaituna, Sweet Hannah Joyce P. Handag, Grade 12 Agriclops Production, with honors, parents honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Juswa in Handag. Sep Jane S. Lantaka, Grade 12 Home Economics, with honors, parents honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Joaquin P. Lantaka Jr. Ray A. Lanzaderas, Grade 12 STEM, with honors, parents honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Roland C. Lanzaderas. Franz Lay S. Lingala, Grade 12 Agricraft Production, with honors, parents honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Francisco A. Lingala. Josephine A. Lumapay, Grade 12 STEM, with honors, parent honorary, Mrs. Illuminada N. Ando. Kerly C. Magallanes, Grade 12 STEM, parents honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Edison N. Magallanes. Richelle Kate C. Marabas, Grade 12 STEM, with honors, parents honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Marvin Marabas. Christian Lloyd M. Mendoza, Grade 12 STEM, with honors, parents honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Joffy Mendoza. Raisa Joy B. Mujia, Grade 12 STEM, with honors, Parents Honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Rodi S. Buja. Noel P. Patok, Grade 12 STEM. With Honors, Parents Honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Narciso S. Patok. Kent Rowey Chevy B. Rodolfa, Grade 12 STEM. With Honors, Parents Honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Ruel A. Rodolfa. Anthony Q. Sumagao, Grade 12 Agricraft Production, with honors, Parents Honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Alan O. Sumagao. Irish D. Surem, Grade 12 STEM, with honors, Parents Honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Alan S. Surem. Lekeisha Ann E. Tomo, Grade 12 STEM, with honors. Parent Honorary, Mrs. Delia E. Tomo. Russell E. Tomojo, Grade 12 STEM, with honors. Parents Honorary, Mr. and Mrs. Cornelio G. Tomojo. Meanwhile, may we now witness, as we all watch him virtually, the closing remarks to be delivered by Ray A. Lanzaderas, a graduate with honors. Congratulations, fellow graduates. First and foremost, I sincerely honor the effort and hard work of the people behind the scenes. You have put in making this virtual commencement successful. To my co-graduates, families and friends, thank you for your cooperation and consideration. Let me share you some point of reminders 
to be pondered as we go out from our alma mater. I hope that we will always look back where we came from as we progress forward. We will always bring the name of Baligaan National High School with pride, dignity, and confidence. Our mentors expected us to evolve in every challenge that we will encounter in the future, wherever that may be. We have still a long way to go, but with God's grace, of course, I hope that each one of us can pursue and follow our dreams with determination. Let me cite one stanza from our graduation song. Follow your dreams, the courage found within. Your soul is keeping you so strong that you could rise each time you fall and stand on your own and just give your best to hold your will. Persistently become the one you've always aimed to be. All and foremost, believe in yourselves with God's guidance always. Be safe and healthy, everyone. Thank you, Ray. At this juncture, we shall watch the graduates' graduation song.
this opportunity to thank everyone who wish unselfishly cooperated, especially the Baligian National High School Administration, faculty and staff, stakeholders, LGU Baligian, production team fronted by Engineer Frederick G. Kibong, parents, and to those who participated in any undertakings of this year's graduation virtual ceremony. To all of you, thank you. Congratulations, graduates, on your well-deserved success. And to your proud parents, you have accelerated into the future of learning. A philosopher once said, All your dreams can be true if you have the courage to pursue them. Hello to all alumni members of Baligyan National High School who might be viewing us all in any part of the Philippines and abroad and to those who wish to enroll in our school. Stay tuned for more updates for school year 2021-2022 and don't forget to hit the like button of Baligyan National High School page. This has been Clementia P. Gino, your host, saying... Keep safe everyone and thank you for watching.